At Notre Dame right now, the latest intel we're getting is, of course, firstly, they had a major injury the other day. So they lost the left tackle for the season. Huge blow. That's a big blow for anyone, but especially at Notre Dame because they were already replacing two offensive tackles that departed for the NFL. And now this. They were already probably looking at starting a couple of sophomores. They felt good about Jagasaw, though. 6'7", 330, not a ton of experience, but he was a top 50 prospect a couple of cycles ago, number eight overall offensive tackle. Well, he's done for the year. Okay, so Tosh Baker is the next name to know. Uh, he's, a, he's a grad student. He's, he's kind of a swing player, and so he'll probably shift out there to that tackle spot. He lost a spot last year. So at best, they're not going to count on guys to start that previously had lost a spot. Now, if he locked it down and played solid football, it wouldn't be the first time in the world we saw that happen. However, what do we know? We know the calendar says August 6th right now. That means you got three more weeks of practice before you play your first game. Then you got 12 of those. You got to stay healthy. They got to totally thread the needle health wise here. That affects the way you practice and prepare, whether anyone wants to admit it or not. And secondly, think about week one. They're over under win totals 10 and a half, but that week one game, they are on the road in College Station. So I want you to picture taking a couple of uncertainties at tackle into Kyle Field, 100,000 plus full throat. You got Nick Scourton on the edge and how mm, undesirable that could be. Now, that's a negative. It's not all negative with Notre Dame. Um, one thing other than that I am watching is corner depth. Ben Morrison's legit. Ben Morrison's a really good football player for them. The team and some of the intel we're getting is not not more past him corner depth something they really need to develop especially when they face teams that can get them into the base nickel looks and dime looks and teams that have that kind of depth to spread them out a little bit and test their second third fourth corners those are the teams that could give Notre Dame some issues now there is very good information that we're getting on the wide receivers up there. Chris Mitchell is a transfer from FIU. He was a 1,000-plus yard guy last year. Very good player. And I'll tell you another thing that we got told. When's the last time we said this about Notre Dame? Seven or eight guys they feel good about. They feel they can play winning football with as pass catchers. That's normally not what we're saying this time of year. So we got trouble at tackle. We've got some question at corner depth, and depth in the secondary in general. Receiver? Looks really good. Riley Leonard transferred in there at quarterback. So maybe Notre Dame finds ways to win games by scoring a little bit more than Notre Dame normally would. 